How do you help somebody with low self-worth? What do you think? I'm gonna show you some things that you can do that can actually help them. I realized as a therapist years ago that I cannot talk people into their self-worth. As much as I want to, I can't tell them you're good enough, you're good enough, you're good enough, and all of a sudden they believe it. But there are some things that we can do to help people see their self-worth. Also, be sure to stay to the end because I have a free gift for you if you stick around. You can't really talk somebody into their self-worth. They believe what they believe about themselves. But there is something very important that you can do. If somebody shows up with a lot of shame or a lot of self-deprecation, they act like they're not enough, you can either buy into that or you can not buy into that. In their relationships, they try to prove that they are not enough. They try to show that, that somebody's gonna reject them or hurt them. Don't be that person. Believe that they are enough. Believe that they are powerful. Show up in that relationship as if that's who they are. Treat them as if that's who they are because that is actually who they are. So when you respond different than the way that their shame tries to get you to respond, they start to feel something different from you. Wow, they believe in me. They have positive regard for me. Why would they believe in me? I don't even believe in myself. I think about stories of teachers or coaches when you know a student is, is struggling or a player is struggling and they're saying, I can't do it, coach. I can't, I can't do it, teacher. And the teacher knows better. The teacher sees something different or the coach knows that they can play harder and that they can be successful. And the coach and the teacher hold that space of belief that they're good enough. And the student, they work toward becoming what that teacher or that coach knows what they are. So that's an example of believing in them, knowing their goodness, seeing their goodness even when they can't see it themselves. Something very basic that you can do to help somebody with their self-worth is to love them. If they don't love themselves, it doesn't mean that you can't love them. What that means is for you to understand their pain, understand their shame, their struggles, and to be there for them, to give them your energy, to sacrifice for them, and to care about them. Just that love says to them, you're worth it. Somebody loves you, somebody cares about you. It can be hard to love somebody with low self-worth because they'll push you away. They'll work hard to not get rejected. But if you love them anyways, you care about them anyways, they'll recognize that and they'll feel that and they'll know they're worth it to somebody. In this day and age, times are crazy and there's a lot of depression and anxiety and people wondering whether or not they're okay or not. Also, social media tells people that they're not okay, they're not enough. So if you're working on helping a person know who they are, and how important they are and how loved they are, then please share this video. It's important that you're honest with somebody. Now, you may be thinking, what does that have to do with supporting them with their self-worth? A person who has low self-worth, they're going to push limits and they're going to try to drag themselves down and drag you down with them. Stay honest with them. Tell them how much you love them. Tell them that you're not gonna talk about how horrible they are. Be boundaried about the things that they say to you and let them know that you are there to support, to help, to be there for them. But don't go there with them. They'll try to take you there with them about how horrible they are, not enough they are. Just don't go there with them and stay honest and boundaried with them. Remember, you cannot tell somebody that they're enough. Your words, even the things in your head don't matter much. What matters more than your do is your be. When you show up with love, when you show up as a person who is compassionate, your be says something to them. So be that loving, kind, compassionate, honest person, and that energy will help them recognize who they really are. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found it helpful. Now, I've developed a free resource that takes you way more into depth and gives you some real tools to reset your relationship. So please check out the link in the description for that free resource. See you next time.